All right, everybody. Golden Knights won. Oh, boy, was it an amazing game. Holy crap, did the Knights play like they should have been playing all these games. But anyway, okay, the Knights won tonight 3-0. to zero. They uh, beat the Avalanche. They take two of the games. Avs take two. And so uh, they are now 11-4-1. Marc-Andre Fleury is now 8-3-0. and oh. He has now had his 64th career shutout. And the Knights allowed the second highest shots on goal. Uh, uh, you know, that's the, that's the most allowed by the Knights. And Fleury had 34 saves. He blocked 34 shots. And let me tell you, Marc-Andre Fleury, as someone said on the Sportsnet channel, you got to call a spade a spade. Marc-Andre Fleury absolutely murdered Tonight, he killed it. Oh, baby. So, uh, let's go over the stars of the game. We got Alex Tuck. He plays left wing. He had two goals. He had two assists. And those were Alex Petrangelo, uh, who is a defenseman. No goals. And, of course, his assist. And William Carlson, who is a center. No goals. But, um... He was not only his assist, but also the assist to our next dude, Jonathan Marcheseau, who plays left wing. One, he had a goal, uh, scored one goal, uh, and he had two assists. That being Nick Haig, defenseman. Uh, no goals, but he, of course, was his assist. And, of course, you had William Carlson. Now... We go to the first period. It was definitely scoreless, but Vegas came out on uh, came out on the front, uh, you know, on on the front foot. They really just killed it. And Flurry at the end of the first period makes a giant, big, giant uh, save against uh, Nassim Kadri. Uh, just he went out and just wildly saved a shot. From him who has been such a thorn in our side. Terrible guy to us. And it was awesome to see that. Now we go to the second period. Uh, it starts off with really. Uh, two At 2 minutes and 32 seconds. a uh, Connor Timmins got a 2 minute penalty. For tripping Max Patch already. Um, and, and then uh, you had. Uh. About 21 seconds after that, the Knights responded. Alex Tuck decided to score a power play goal at 2 minutes and 53 seconds. So he sco scores the power play goal. And he was assisted by, as I said, Alex Petrangelo and William Carlson. That made it 1-0. to zero. Knights. Now we go to 6 minutes and 14 seconds. Alex Tuck scored a goal because Bowen Byram uh, tries getting the stick uh, off of his skate uh, or tries to get the uh, yeah off of his skate and then the it, the stick bounces uh, off of his skate and then of course he scores on himself against his own uh, goalie Philip Grubauer. That happens a lot, unfortunately, to uh, defensemen. It is not uncommon, but it was unfortunate for him and fortunate for the Knights who score 2-0. to zero. Oh, baby, they score that goal. 11 minutes and 6 seconds. They weren't done here. They're like, wait, we got one more for you, boys. <laughs> nice way I can put it. Jonathan Marcheseau, Marchi. I love how they couldn't pronounce his name uh, on the channel. It was, like, funny. He scores a goal. He was assisted by... Mm. I'm getting tired. I'm sorry. He was assisted by William Carlson and Nick Haig. That made it three to nothing nights. Now, again, they thought that uh, on the channel there was a guy who said, oh, I think the, the Avs are going to come back and win it four to three. Look, I, don't, I, I couldn't doubt it. The Knights have been known to give up games. But the way they were playing tonight, I didn't see that happening. Now, let's go over the shots before I go over all of my thoughts. The Knights had 28. Colorado had 34. Uh, the Knights had 14 hits. The Colorado Avalanche had 12. The Knights won 19 face-offs. Colorado won 24. Uh, the Knights had three power play opportunities. Colorado had one. 
Um, now, this is what I love about the Golden Knights is that they only had one penalty. This is the second game. I'm not sure if it was the the Avalanche or the game that we played before. I think it was the Ducks. I don't remember now. They only had one penalty. This is only the second game that that's happened, and I'm I'm glad that they that they did that. Power play goals. Knights had one, of course. Uh, that was the Alex Tuck goal, and uh, Colorado had zero. Neither team had any shorthanded goals, um, and uh, the Knights had two total penalties. Colorado had four. Uh, the Knights had four total penalty minutes. The Colorado Avalanche had eight. So that means that you know they had more. Um, Penalty, so there you go. Um, the Knights had 17 blocked shots. Colorado had 11. Uh, ta- uh, the Knights had six takeaways. Colorado had eight. And the uh, Knights had three giveaways, and Colorado had nine. So giveaways, they did really well. They didn't turn over the puck too much. They kept control of the puck, which I loved. They were helping each other out, passing it. Good team chemistry tonight. Um, and, uh, not too many takeaways there, but Hey, still good amount. Let's see how many takeaways was it? You had six and the other team had eight. So look, they were a little bit behind, but not too bad. So first thing I'll say the Knights, I'm glad that they played like they should have been playing all C all, all, all series long. This is exactly what they need to be doing. They defended their, their time on the power play. The, they, the, um, Colorado Avalanche screwed it up for themselves. They didn't do too well. Uh, But the Knights defended the net very well. Now, the Knights actually uh, took advantage of the Avalanche in uh, transitions. They did really well there and in the neutral zone as well. Now, um, they also did great defensively. I mean, they had uh, a bunch of times where Fleury was doing something else and and trying to protect his his net. Um, But then you had some pucks... That uh, some plays that went past Flurry, but people like Alex Petrangelo, Alex Tuck, and others, uh, Shea Theodore, they were just blocking and blocking and and just taking that away from the Avalanche, and they had great control of the puck. Now, of course, there was a penalty that was not called against uh, uh, Theodore, but hey, you know what? Better for the Knights. But again, I, I can't sugarcoat it. That was definitely a penalty, possibly, but they just didn't call it. Now, Flurry played. Acrobatics tonight. I'm just gonna say that Flurry played acrobat, a- acrobat, uh, acrobatics. Every time they tried scoring on the Avalanche side, they he sprawled himself out, left, right, center, all of it. He stretched out. He let it go off the off of his glove. He just he 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 was saving. Two to three goals, back to back to back, saved by Flurry, save again by Flurry, save again by Flurry. Just an amazing, amazing game by Marc Andre Flurry. He was there were there was a point where he had two or three rebounds, all of them like he just saved them all, every single one. Incredible, just this time Flurry has done this before, but this is probably I have I've not seen this in a long, long time from any goalie, let alone many, but let alone Marc-Andre Fleury himself. What a freaking game Marc-Andre Fleury played. This was definitely a goalie's game, and he absolutely killed it. So that's that's what I've got to say about Marc-Andre Fleury. He absolutely deserves the praise that he got for this game because, boy, did he do an incredible, incredible job. I, I literally don't know how else to put it. So if they can keep this up, if they can skate as well as they did tonight, if they can do great puck support, if they can if they can have good chemistry, if they can help each other, if they can protect the net, have as little penalties as possible. I know that's kind of a lot to ask, but and and they can score on a two on two, a three on two, a two on three, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, uh, a five on five. I'm waiting for that. Whatever they can do, if they keep playing like they play tonight, boy. And in game one, man, man, what an incredible, incredible season they might have. But if anything, what I do want to end with is the Knights, I think, have learned something. And that is that the Avalanche are not here to play. They honestly are incredible. I'm I'm not going to sugarcoat that. 
they have stars like Nathan McKinnon on there, who's just absolutely incredible. He he has an awesome cadre as well. So, and Philip Grubauer doesn't play either. He is amazing. And so, both of these teams could possibly go into the division conference final. And look, I mean, I would be scared if I were the nice to go against the Avalanche. But they need to come up with a strategy. And I hope that they know that not everything's going to be an easy win. And I think they know that. But I think they've kind of been let off the hook a lot this season. Because the Avalanche just gave them a run for their money for sure. Um, So hopefully they do what they did tonight in other games.